All right, we're going to be back again with another range test, um, similar to my last video. Uh, we're going to do a similar loop on the highway. This will be the control run. Uh, so on this control run here, we will uh, have nothing on, no air conditioning, no heat, no fans, nothing. Uh, just to set a benchmark. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do a range test versus running the air conditioner. Now it's not hot today, but we'll still kick on the condenser uh, versus the fan versus having the windows open. Uh, and then I think I'll break this into two parts uh, and then I'll do the same loop uh, running the heat on relatively high. All right, let's go. Okay, we started the car, got the this trip um, reset. We're gonna go and we're actually gonna reset trip two as well. Uh, that resetted. All right, so we're going to do the first loop and uh, see what we get for a mile per kilowatt. Okay, just got up on the highway, holding at 68. Uh, got nothing running, nothing connected. Um, I do expect that the outside temperature with it being 67 degrees will have a little bit of an impact, but all things being equal, uh, should still give a good idea of what impact uh, different things have on, on your range. So again, this is the first ride uh, with nothing on, just to set a base. Okay, coming up to the turnaround spot here, just about the halfway mark, um, seven miles. Averaging 2.6 miles per kilowatt. Seems like I always have to stop at this light. 2.6. Gonna get up on the highway here. Gonna kick it right back on to cruise control. And uh, next time I check in, I should be back where I started. Uh, YouTube, we're back at that sketchy bus stop. Uh, done with the first leg. You can see here it was 14.8 miles and only averaging 2.8 miles per kilowatt. Well, it's pretty surprising that it's uh, that low. That could be partly due to the, the tires being slightly overinflated. Um, but again, all things being equal, uh, we'll go ahead and do the next route, uh, which will be with the uh, air conditioning running. At 2.8 miles per kilowatt uh, in this select that I have, uh, so it's only got the standard range battery, uh, 2.8 would give you approximately 191 miles of total range. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and reset trip one for this one, and this trip's already been reset, so now we're going to go here, we're going to throw on max AC, I'm going to keep it on auto high, oh, actually you can't do that, we're going to go max AC, uh, just let that run, we're going to do that same loop now. Coming up on the turnaround spot. I don't know why a hitchhiker would be hitchhiking in black. Uh, coming up on the turnaround spot here, uh, same one we've been turning around at every time. You can probably hear the fans running. So 7.3, uh, we're at 2.6 right now. So again, that's with the AC Max running. So now we're going to go ahead and jump back on the highway and uh, get back to that sketchy bus stop. See you in a bit. Alright guys, moment of truth. Same 14.8 miles. And again, we came out to 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. Pretty interesting that it worked out to be the same number. Let's check trip one, uh, same. Uh, 
on the where did my energy go meter it looked like it was uh, I don't know where these accessories are coming from um, but approximately 4% uh, of the energy consumed went to the climate use so uh, maintain the same 68 tire pressure the same uh, pretty interesting that running max AC at least in this uh, scenario did not have any impact on the range calculator um, but based on this you can see that it would have about a 4% uh, impact and if you look at my previous video uh, where I tested windows up versus windows down uh, you'd see what the impact of of the wind resistance had uh, and I would say that it's comparable to uh, the air conditioner in this case um, actually a little bit uh, the air conditioner would be more energy efficient than driving with the windows down so that's it that's that's that test uh, I think the next one I'll do uh, is I'll kick on the heat here we go okay let's reset trip two make sure this trip reset it did all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go into here we're going to kick on the e heat i'm going to turn this to high on both sides that's dual uh why not let's turn on the heat warmers as well to medium I'm actually not a big fan of heat warmers, but for the love of the video, I'll do it for you guys. Alright, so here we go. Alright, first thing I gotta admit, these heat warmers get super, super hot quick. And I'm only on medium. I have only gone a quarter of a mile. Uh... And I've already got some toasted buns. Um, but again, I'll ride it out. Uh, if it becomes too uncomfortable, I'll I'll turn them off. But uh, gonna get back on the highway, set to 68, do the loop, and I'll check in at exit three like I have been. All right, coming back up on the turnaround spot. Um, so we're coming up 7.1 miles. Looks like there's some service uh, cars up here. Police, fire. Um, maybe that hitchhiker actually got hit. Hopefully not. Um, so we're at 7.3 and we are 2.2 miles per kilowatt at this point. Uh, so getting back on the highway here, you can see what impact climate is having. Uh, again, I've got both seat warmers on, and I've got the heat set to high. Uh, the e-heat turned on. Uh, as of right now, I would say that it's not overly impressed with the amount of heat that's coming through the vents. Um, the fan is actually... Uh, doesn't feel that much warmer than the outside air to be honest with you um, I don't know if that's because uh, I didn't really let it heat up too long before going on this little journey but uh, you know we've been driving for 10 minutes with the heat on and uh, I wish I had my little laser uh, thermometer thingy I'm not really impressed with that I'll let you know if it gets any better. Okay, we're back. 14.8 and uh, 2.5 miles per kilowatt. Uh, not too bad, not as bad as I expected it, especially since uh, the last two runs we did on this with the windows closed and with the air conditioner, uh, we came out at 2.8, so now we're at 2.5. The way this broke down on the where'd my energy go, 
you could see the climate use uh, took up 14% of the use uh, of the uh, electrons that were used during this route. So uh, again, there you go. That's that. That's the difference in the HVAC. Uh, again, I'm not overly impressed with the temperature of heat that's coming out of the the vents, um, and that could be uh, just based on my current settings because I'm using e-heat. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and change that and see if it makes a difference.